Uh, Dennis and Dee, we got the podcast up and running again. It's been a little while. Good uh, morning or good afternoon. Let's talk about serial killers. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jack the Ripper and the yeah, and the, 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 the other. Green River. The Green River Killer. Right, the White River Kid. Mm-hmm. What's going on inside their heads? I find the mind of a serial killer a fascinating thing. Like, Exciting, you know, almost. What makes you want to make a face into a lamp or a face into another face? Right, I've never had that. I've never had that That, uh, that urge. urge. No, mm-hmm. n- neither have I. And I don't know where exactly it comes from. Now, I've had the urge to do damage on someone. Absolutely. You know, certainly emotionally. On a daily basis, right. yes. But I've never actually wanted to stab or, or murder someone or draw blood from somebody. I've wanted Emotional to stab. Emotional blood. I wanted to stab. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have not wanted to murder. Right, no. Oh, okay. Not well, over and over. Right, 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 right. That's over the part over. that makes it interesting to me. Right. Now, there's always a pattern to it, though, I, I, I find, I, from mm-hmm. what I understand. You know, you if, you if you fixate on murdering a certain type of person, you're mm-hmm. fixated on... Now, is that like... You know, you hate your mommy, and so you want to kill your mommy on, over and over again, or what is that? You you hate your mommy, so you so want to make rape. right. So you want to peel someone who looks like your mommy's face off and put it on your put face. It on your face. Is that? I feel like if I hated my mommy, I wouldn't want to put her face on my face. Now you did hate your mommy. That's exactly right. I never. I don't, I don't want her face anywhere near my face. I want to talk about another serial killer, mm-hmm. though. This is probably the biggest serial killer that our country has ever seen. Big oil. Do you do you feel that way? Do you do you, do you see what I'm saying? Uh, well, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. I see that. Um, I see that oil is a problem now. You know, but I would think that if uh, along those same lines, if oil was a big killer, then also wind and sun would be even bigger killers. If if they were able to be harnessed in such a way, because they're you know they're everywhere. No, see, I they're, see. It's everywhere. Wind. How do you get away from it? Well, I see. Oil, you can run from. You can see it. You can touch it. You can get away from it. The fish have a difficult time, but I'm not a fish. I'm not as concerned about it. Wind. I think they're too. See, I know I disagree with you because I think mm-hmm. oil would be the serial killer mm-hmm. in that situation. Yeah. And the and wind and solar would actually be the, the rig, rigs and Murtaugh that are trying to defeat the serial killer. Oh. So two alternative forms, you know, good versus evil. I don't think you're expanding your mind enough, though. I'm saying, what if the sun were able to harness the same power that the oil has been able to harness. Somehow the oil has gotten some sort of an intelligence where it's able to lash out and okay. uh, I stopped village. listening to you because mm-hmm. I couldn't follow anything that you were saying, but what mm-hmm. it made me think of... Well, I feel like you didn't give me a chance to right. explain it when you know when you cut me off, and that's okay. It's, I this tried. is banter. I gave it this a shot. This is banter, so it's okay. I gave it my best shot, which maybe wasn't like good you enough for you, it. but I, I think it was... I feel like you didn't try that hard. Well, fair enough, but what it made me think of was, mm-hmm. though, if you did want to use wind as a serial killer, yes. you would probably take a person's body, raise it up towards the the giant wind turbine, yeah. and slice their head off with the with the wind. Okay, turbine. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm fine with that. Is that what you were talking that, about? I was saying, like, yes, that's exactly. Okay. okay. And then, and then you would take that face and turn it into a into a lampshade, or or turn it into a couch cushion, or what would you do with that? I would make a mirror out of it, so that when you look into the mirror, you're seeing a big giant face looking back at you. Oh. I think that'd be funny. Okay, so that would be amusing if you were yeah, a serial yeah, yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That'd be funny. And now, maybe you could try and sell them. You'd sell them as a mirror, maybe on eBay, and then when they got there, they mm-hmm. open it up, they're excited about their mirror. Turns out it's just it's a big just a, murdered face. It's a murdered face. <laughs> yeah. Right, so now you're complicit in that yeah. murder, in a way. That's that the sort of genius good. behind it. Yeah, now I don't know. I don't, do you think serial killers have a sense of humor? Uh, Sure. Sure. Don't they sometimes leave the bodies in like funny positions and stuff? That's like their trademark. Okay. Right. 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 So you chop the body parts up. Maybe you mix up the body parts like a Mr. Potato Head of a murder scene. Yeah. 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 So you take four or five different guys and gals and and you mix all their parts together. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You know what? I'm wondering though if we're giving serial killers ideas. 